You're watching Indie Shooter's back-to-back -back coverage of NAB 2019. Sponsored by 16x9, Band Pro Film and Digital, JBC, Manios Digital and Film, Panasonic, Sigma, and Carl Zeiss. Hi, Clint with Indie Shooter. Continuing our coverage of NAB 2019. I'm here again with Chase of Airy, and this is the news that no one can stop talking about, the new Airy Mini. Talk a little bit about it. This is the new Alexa Mini LF we announced just about a week ago, and the fantastic thing about the Alexa Mini LF is it's got that large format sensor that we introduced last year with the Alexa LF. So that same great sensor is in here. It's a 4.5K sensor with a diagonal of about 44.7 millimeters, which is really, really quite large. It's actually slightly larger than even full-frame photo, it's got the same great pixels that are in all of our sensors and what we did with this sensor is we essentially doubled it in a sense that we were using the same exact sensor design in terms of those big pixels on our normal Super 35 camera but now printed together essentially on a longer piece of silicon to be the size of two of our Super 35 sensors. So essentially the camera sensor in here is twice as big as the sensor in an Alexa Mini, an Amira or any of our Super 35 cameras. So it's more of those better pixels just like we were saying last year with the full size LF, more better pixels same great sensor design in terms of dynamic range, color, sensitivity, all that good stuff. With the Mini, we are able to take what we introduced last year in the LF and fit half of it, if not more, in a 5.7 pound body, essentially an Alexa Mini body. You can see almost exactly the same size, slightly bigger hump on this side. It's only 0.7 pounds heavier. It's fantastic. It's got an LPL mount on it as native, the large format PL mount we introduced with the Alexa LF last year. The camera is also shipped with that PL to LPL adapter, so you don't even have to unscrew it. You can pop that adapter in there, and you're right back to a normal PL mount camera. You'll notice also on the side you have now a bigger recording bay. You have now six user buttons instead of just the three. That recording bay takes a new kind of media called the Codex Compact Drive. So this is a one terabyte drive, eight gigabits per second read and write speeds on here. And you can put that on the air like so. It goes right into the camera, which is fantastic, and you're good to go. So one terabyte per drive and the ready to shoot kit actually even comes with two of them. So this is the great new media that we're also committing to be used on our future cameras as well. So when you invest in this media, you know that your investment is safe. We're letting you know it's going to be in future area cameras. Now if we come up here, this is one of the coolest parts of the new camera, the new viewfinder connector. So this viewfinder connector is brand new. It's called a coax express connector. And what you have here is a connector with no keyway. So you don't have to worry about which way you plug it in. You can just plug it in like so. Doesn't matter the orientation and you're good to go. And the standard also allows us to run a longer distance between the viewfinder and the camera. Previously, we could get maybe about five or six feet. Now we can go up to 33 feet, 10 meters away from the camera. So for underwater or remote control on a jib or crane, you can get long distances and still control the camera with a viewfinder. It's got an additional Wi-Fi antenna on this side, so it has the one that the original Mini had, but one over here, which is fantastic. It's got the same overall size and dimensions. Almost all of the area accessories fit on it. Just this bracket here uh, to cover, you know, comes a little bit out compared to the original bracket to cover and clear this area like so. Uh, in terms of ND filters, we have three ND filters in. We changed the top one just slightly, the highest density, from 2.1 to ND 1.8 because we had a lot of customers requesting a slightly lower ND and also to go in two stop increments. So 0 0.6, 1.2 and now uh, 1.8, so two more stops. So two, four, two, four, and six stops, total ND with the ND filters, or even faster when you push a button, it's less than one second from pull up to let down. So it's way faster than the NDs in the normal Mini or the Mira, which is great. It's even got two microphones on the front, they're little dots so you can see their holes. Those are actually for scratch audio that are recorded in the camera, which is by default, you can turn it off if you don't need it, but it records that scratch audio. They're even weather sealed and they have little gaskets, which is awesome, which brings me to the viewfinder. Let's talk about weather sealing. So an all new view Finder. It's the Mini MVF2, Multi Viewfinder 2. It's got a brand new OLED light engine in it, the same light engine as in the Alexa LF's EVF2. You even got an eyepiece heater inside the eyepiece built in, so no external eyepiece heater that you will need to get away with most of it. Then you got here a headphone jack at the bottom for plugging in your headphones for auto monitoring. You didn't have any headphone jacks at all on the normal Mini. Now we were able to add that with this new viewfinder design. Also, all the buttons are weather sealed, and you also have a texture if you feel that there. It's got a little plus symbol. You can feel what button you're holding without ever looking at it. It's got a lock switch on it, which is fantastic. The wheel is here for camera control. You've now got a four inch display, so it's about a half an inch bigger display, much higher quality, higher resolution, color, and whatnot, dynamic range. You can see the menu system is super fast. We've even improved on the existing menu system to make it even easier and faster to use. You can see, look at how fast it scrolls. Wow. 
boom. You can actually can't even scroll as fast as it can actually go, which is awesome. So you have full viewfinder control again up to 33 feet away and an image here as well as in the eyepiece. Just like the normal mini, you can run both of them at the same time. You've got ProRes options from 422HQ all the way up to 444XQ. And then you also have uncompressed Airy Raw recording, which we have in all of our cameras. And you can record ProRes and Airy Raw to the same drive. You don't have to worry about changing drives. Then on the back of the camera, what we've got, I'm going to flip this girl around. Right there, you've got a new series of connectors. We'll just clear this out of the way. You've got a new series of connectors. Right here, you've got an audio connector that now has an extra pin. It's now six pins instead of five that carries power on it, so 12 volt power. So now when the audio manufacturers build boxes, it's one cable for power and two channels of audio, which is fantastic. You've got a two pin connector here for power 12 volt with two amps, so it's a nice uh, amperage on that connector there. It's 12 volts. Then below it, you've got an RS connector, which is three pin Fisher style, so remote start stop and 24 volt power out of that connector as well. So two power connectors that are built into the body, which is great. You've got the standard EXT connector, Ethernet connector like on the normal mini. you got the same five pin time code connector, but we relocate it so it's easier to get to. You've got your dual HDSDI each, and then you've got the sync connector here, which can be used for black burst, tri-level or bi-level sync for Genlock and Multicam. Same power connector, so all your cables work. And we have the same power box we introduced about a year ago, which is made by Biba, and that's a goal mount or V-mount with all these nice power connectors on here. The camera does run all off of 12 volt batteries. It doesn't need 24 volts like the Alexa LF, so you can use a normal 12 volt battery system with it. It's got bigger fans, of course, for cooling, but it has the same great operating range, which is 113 to negative four degrees Fahrenheit, which is the widest operating range of any camera in the industry that we know of. So all of this also means that a lot of your accessories, if not all, will fit that you have with your Alexa Mini. And uh, yeah, it's a fantastic solution all around. Our camera operator right now yeah. was saying how much he looked forward to working with these as opposed yeah, to it's a big better, improvement. Yeah, so now we have these connectors. They're easier to get to. We even have, we've had this bracket here where we've designed it in such a way that it keeps that access easy. So this bracket holds the battery carrier a little bit off to the side, which is great. So easy access. And yeah, you have power on the body. You have all sorts of connectors that have been much improved. So we took that ability, you know, feedback, which we always do is airy from customers using the normal money side. that wouldn't it be great if it could do this, this, and this. And we tried to fit it in here, which I think is really amazing considering that the bit, number one priority was to get that big sensor into this tiny camera and cool it and make sure it works properly. And on top of it, they were like, no, let's add some extra bits while we're at it. So it's fantastic. I'm curious, uh, yeah. the decision for to go from CFast 2.0 to uh, 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 yes. to Codex, yes. I, I know the answer. I mean, we just had yeah. one uh, CFast card just crack on us a few minutes ago. So it's yeah. just, it happens. What are we talking about with Codex? So that's a good question. And a lot of customers, oh, I like the CFast because it was open and, you know, and I could get it anywhere and there's different manufacturers and the pricing was reasonable. And we liked it too. But when it comes to really high data rates, the reliability is an issue and the pure speed of the cards are just not fast fast enough to handle the data, especially with OpenGate, which is, again, twice the data of a Super 35 camera, uh, like the XM Mini, for example. So we did have to go to this for faster media. So Codex has been our partner for many years with the full-size Alexa, Alexa 65, Alexa LF, SXTW. They make great one and two terabyte drives that are super reliable and super fast. But those drives are bigger, and uh, they don't quite fit in a small form factor. So what we did is we worked with Codex to design a compact drive. It's literally called Codex Compact Drive. And it's still a very fast drive. It's eight gigabits per second second, but it's very small, but still has a very high capacity, so it's a one terabyte drive, which we'll be shipping with the camera. So this will be the current only media available for the camera, but it's great because actually per gigabyte, it's the same cost, if not cheaper than CFast. One of these one terabyte drive retails for $2,380. If you were to add 256 CFast up, let's say, on average, they're about $600 a card, that's $2,400, that's $20 more, and their speeds are way slower than this, and they're not professional media you know, design for motion picture recording, this is super reliable, robust, and rugged like all of Codex product. So it's a good option for the Yeah, market. it doesn't look like cheap plastic. It looks uh, no, pretty it's solid. Uh, metal construction. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, and one ships with it when you buy it. So that's uh, that's it amazing. Two for the basic set. Uh, the ready to shoot set comes with two of the one terabyte drives, and that runs about you know it comes with the viewfinder, the accessories, camera, the lens mount, the adapter for PL, and then of course the two drives, and that's a, just over seventy five thousand US. Now, will the yeah. uh, original Mini still be available? Yes, it's a very good question. We are selling the current Alexa Mini, both in the unlicensed and licensed form. We'll continue to sell it. Um, pricing will pretty much remain the same because this camera does cost about $6,000, $6,500 more than the regular Mini because of the larger sensor. But yes, we'll continue to support and sell, and we've had customers still buy regular Minis. Go, this is a great camera. I don't need it. I just want a normal Alexa Mini. So we've had orders for lots of orders for normal Minis even after this camera is announced. So we'll continue to support it and sell it and offer it um, in terms of pricing the pricing on the normal mini will remain the same.
And what is the price on this? So the body only in lens mounts about a little over 58,000 US. Everyone's really buying the ready to shoot kit because it comes with the two drives, the viewfinder, all the accessories. Now you could reuse your accessories from your older mini for the most part, but obviously you need the drives, you need the new viewfinder. And everyone's kind of buying the ready to shoot gold or ready to shoot V mount sets. So they're the same price at a little over 75,000, 76,000 US before taxes. I was also seeing, uh, yeah. you guys are planning fulfillment like really quickly, right? Hopefully. Uh, so we start to ship in July, in July. So we're taking deposits now, and then the first cameras will ship sometime in July. If you've ordered now, you'll get the camera between now and the end of the year, um, which is great, but we can't be any more specific than that because it always depends on how many orders and cameras can be made, but we start in July. People want to find out more about the Alexa Mini LF. Uh, they should go to the website. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we have actually tech talk videos, six of them, which are like about five minutes long. They're nice and in depth, but not too in depth. By our product manager who designed this camera, Mark Shimon Mueller, as well as Mark Michael Jonas, who's the other pro product designer for this camera. They made a series of tech talk videos that cover all the subjects we we're talking about, like the media, for example, the viewfinder, the body itself. And so those videos can get you up to speed very quickly. But we also have an FAQ and all the technical specs at Airy.com. When you go to the main page. You can click on the LF page and it'll show you all that data with the tech specs and PDFs and downloads for this camera. All right, Chase, thank you very much for your time. And again, the website is airy.com. Yeah, airy.com and you'll see the LF Mini on the front page. Click on that and you'll see everything on that page. Thanks a lot, awesome. Chase. Yeah, absolutely. You're very welcome. You're watching Indie Shooter's back-to-back -back coverage of NAB 2019. Sponsored by 16x9, Band Pro Film and Digital, JBC, Manios Digital and Film, Panasonic, Sigma, and Carl Zeiss.